This video will cover framing features such as connections that are common to all framing systems, whether this be wall, horizontal panels or trusses. Although they can be used in each, this video will use wall panels only. Commands will also mostly be used from the ribbon, however certain commands are available from the right click context sensitive menu. It is possible to move profiles in the 2D layout view just by clicking the piece and moving it via the grip point. This will then be reflected in the 3D model and vice versa. However, by clicking a panel label, then right clicking and choosing edit parts, we can open an individual panel as an editable model in a new window. All changes made will be reflected in both the 2D layout and the main 3D framing model. Clicking any profile to select it with grip points allowing you to move and resize the profile. Notice the context sensitive tab in the ribbon that activates automatically. One very useful feature is the double joist function. Again, this has its own set of options where we can toggle if the double is mirrored, if both the center of the two joists is moved to the current center point of the single joist, and if there is any tolerance between them. Once defined, simply click on whichever side you wish to mirror to. Should you need to alter any connections within your panel, make sure you're in the modeling tab. Click the joint menu and choose the connection details command. The location and available connections will be subject to your customization. There are a few joint types available, but they work in a similar way. So for example, if I want to add in a swage joint, first double click the swage joint thumbnail, next we select IU track and then the C profiles we wanted to connect. Notice the green star marker. Once selected, confirm. This will then bring up the parameters for that joint. Here you can define screw quantities and set distance between the end of the connecting C profile and the U track. Also available in connection details are tools to add in service holes and other features. And again, these will depend on both your customization and the tools available on your roll former. There are two main categories, both are found in the light gauge steel folder. Area tools allows you to define a line and the tool is added to every profile the line crosses. Simply double click the tool type you want to add, select the panel you want to add it to and confirm. Then draw your line, confirming afterwards. You will stay in the command but will be prompted to select the next panel until you quit from it. Tools however, allows you to put in a single feature but you can put in multiple ones in the same location by selecting multiple profiles. Again, just double click the tool you wish to add, select the piece or pieces you want to add the feature to, confirm and select the location. Thank you for watching.